Hello, this is Cupcake Massacre Bear, and I am doing a review for um, my Princess Serenity wig just came in today, so I am so excited because I am getting further and further closer to cosplaying as Princess Serenity, so like I said, I'm really excited. And I've already opened my wig, and I've already been posting pictures of it on Instagram and Facebook and Tumblr, so... I'm not going to post any videos of it in the video. I'm just going to do a simple review. And like I said, I'm really excited. But anyway, I ordered, I was searching online um, all over the place. I was on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, and I just really could not find um, the right wig that I wanted. Because I wanted a certain color and I wanted certain like features to it. And I could not find one in the right color or in the right features, so I was, a lot of my friends know I was really frustrated. And I've never tackled this character before. It's always been my dream cosplay, but I always put it off because I was like, I'm not good enough to cosplay as her, um, or I just won't look good as her at all, period. But I was like, you know what, I'm like... I'm going to do it anyway. So finally, I gathered up enough courage, uh, thanks to my friends, um, Corbin, of course, my girlfriend, and Kirichi, I'm mentioning her because she, she kind of gave me a lot of the courage to do it, and my friend also, um, Katie, Katie's a little leader, but she kind of helped me, you know, push it, and then my friend Ashley, uh, Ashley Wallace. Um, she helped me too. She was like, come on, just do it. So I'm like, okay, I gave in and now I'm doing it. So I just, okay, here's the review. So I ordered from the Five Wits. I actually owned a wig from them in the past. Um, if you're familiar with my uh, Anarchy Stocking cosplay, my first wig that I ever wore for stocking was from the Five Wits. And I ended up buying them from Metrocon. I forgot what year it was, but um, we also ordered our first panty wig, too, from the Five Wits. And their their quality is very good. It's just for some reason I noticed her her wigs didn't, uh, didn't last very long for us, which I thought was a little odd. Um, but she's the most expensive person I ever bought from. So, um, I mean, her quality is very good. Just for some reason, they, they didn't last very long for us. But anyway, this, I'm going to take out uh, the card without removing the bun. But this is her. So if you ever want to order from her, I'm going to put it in the description. Um, but here are the buns. And what I like about this wig is it actually comes in pieces, which is what I wanted. Um, I didn't want the wig to be together because... When I uh, did Elizabeth from Kiroshitsuji, uh, my wig um, came in pieces too, but for some reason, I left the pieces all together on the wig on a wig head, and that wig was completely destroyed, and so I'm not, I'm not going to do that ever again. So um, I wanted the wig to be in pieces so it wouldn't be destroyed this easily, but um, yeah, so here are the buns. And they're really cute. And what I like about this is here, I'll take one now with being really gentle. Um, it actually comes with clips. I don't know if you can see that, which is what I wanted. I wanted clips for the buns. So um, when I found out she had clips for the buns and the, the falls, I was so excited because, like I said, that's what I wanted. Um, but here, let me take out the bun. I'm being super careful because I just want to, don't want to mess it up, but I just want to see how good it feels. But yeah, um, it, it feels like a normal wig, maybe a little bit better quality. I mean, it's not soft like I was hoping it would be, but it's, um, it's, it's a fairly decent, like, feeling. It does feel a little, like, freighted, of course. You can see a little bit on the wig how it kind of has a little bit of fry to it, but nothing that my my spray from Sally's can't fix. Um, and I could probably soak these a little bit; and it might help. 
I don't um, want to use a uh, fabric softener because I actually used fabric softener on her wig, my stocking wig in the past, and that's how it got destroyed. Um, for some reason, the fabric softener destroyed the wig, and it, it just felt terrible, so I'd rather use actual wig shampoo or conditioner on it. It makes it a lot nicer. And same with this one. It does feel a little frayed right here, but... Like I said, nothing, you know, wig, shampoo, and conditioner can't fix. Um, let's see. Next is the actual wig. Uh, here it is. I'm trying to be very gentle with opening, and of course my nails get stuck on everything, so that doesn't help either. But... The wig feels a lot better. Um, it actually feels like my old stocking wig. A lot like it, but yeah, this wig is very natural feeling, and it's extremely soft. Um, I know one of my friends warned me that the um, the wig cap for this wig was more than likely going to be very small on me. Um, that's another thing I kind of want to warn you guys is for some reason I noticed her wig caps inside the uh, the wig, the netting. It's very small because when I got my stocking wig again, I actually had to glue the wig onto my head so it would stay. And I don't recommend that. It actually hurts really bad. But if you have to, you kind of don't really have a choice. But um, I'm hoping I won't have to do it with this wig because like I said, it hurts. It hurts getting it off, but um, it it doesn't really hurt getting it on, but it, it's not a comfortable feeling because it, it actually does pull back on your um, scalp and it can give you um, a lot of headaches, a lot of um, serious migraines, and like I said, I, I just don't recommend it. Um, but let me see if I can find my hair tie. I know I brought one in. Of course, I'm not seeing it now. I know I brought one in here. Oh, it's on my wrist. Alright, duh. But I'm going to see if I can test the wig right now. But I'm not too worried about it not fitting me because I kind of have a little plan just in case my, um, my hair doesn't sit right in the wig. And I've told a couple of people about what I'm doing, and a lot of them think I'm kind of crazy for doing this, but, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do for cosplay, right? But, um, let me see. But no, pretty much what I'm doing is, um, as you can see, my hair is extremely thick. And for some reason, it's always been like that. Like, I would delay it so many times. And it just, like, it wouldn't help. And it would just grow back, of course. But I like my hair really thinned. So pretty much what I'm doing is... Um, I'm doing what my girlfriend did when she did her Levi, uh, Levi cosplay. Um, she ended up shaving her underlayer, which is what I'm going to do. I plan to shave my underlayer, and then I plan to have my hair really thinned out. So it won't give me issues. But usually when I do my cosplays in order to um, keep the wig on my head, um, since my hair is so thick, I usually wear like two to three wig caps just to get like you know it to stay and it won't give me issues so but let me see this is the back front but so far it it doesn't feel like it's small but And the, and the lock is actually, um, 
not the lock, but the straps are actually a lot tighter than my stocking wig was, which she must have improved, or it's just because of the wig, but I kind of look like a uh, <laughs> sailor here in this. Um, okay, now this is the one of the falls. I guess I'll try and, um, oh, wait, oh, wait, there's some scissors. But, um, I'm going to see how it looks on my head. That way you guys can get a better idea of whether or not this is going to be a good wig for you. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. Okay, there's the other one. Ah. The only thing I don't like about these buns for some reason is when I try to pull on the clips. I'm having a hard time opening them. So my buns are probably going to be extremely messed up now. But I can always go back and fix them. Okay. Um So, this is how it looks on me so far, which is not too bad. Um so, I know my eyebrows are really thick, so I plan to have them waxed, and then I'm going to try this method that my friend Casey uh, sent me for hiding eyebrows, and then I'm not exactly going to hide them, I'm just going to whiten them, and then just go over with yellow. But anyway, this is the falls. Um, what I like about these is it comes with the clip too, um, and these are actually really soft, and the... The falls that I happen to get are curly on the end, which is what I wanted. I wanted a bit of curly. So I'm just going to stick them back here. Please excuse the tags. I know they're here. Um, but yeah, just ignore them. And then this is the other fall. And what I like about these is they feel a bit softer than the wig, which is why I don't understand why the wig feels a little bit not as soft, but the falls are pretty soft. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but. And this tag is like driving me crazy. Here's the other one. Okay, um, it's not exactly perfect, but like I said, it's just for the review. I'm sure it'll be a lot more perfect once I'm at a con, but, um, yeah, so I have it on, and it actually feels pretty comfortable. Um, it doesn't actually feel like it's moving at all, which I'm pretty impressed with, because like I said, my stocking wig actually moved back off my uh, head quite a lot, and that's why I ended up having to glue it. Uh, to my scalp, but yeah, this wig actually feels extremely comfortable. Like, it's a little tight, but not as much, and the cap's, you know, stretchable, so it fits, and here, let me get up so you can see how it looks, and it's actually fairly long, like, I like how it looks, and it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, here's the, um, the falls, and they're pretty curly, which is why I like. Um, I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'll bend down so you can see. Um, I'm probably gonna brush out the ends a little bit, because they're kind of fried. Um, plus, 
I, I don't want them too curly, but I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll leave them like this. I mean, what do you guys think I should do? Should I just leave them the way they are? Or if I should just brush them out a little bit? But, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, um, please feel free to message me on Facebook. Um, I'm under Cupcake Massacre Bear on Facebook, or you can find me on Instagram, and you can message me on there. And on Tumblr, I'm known as Cupcake Lolly Bear, but I'm probably going to make another account just for my cosplay. Um, so, thank you for watching, and hope this review is good for you.